Hello, welcome to the screencast for AstroPanel, the astronomy program in the terminal that gives the amateur astronomer every information he needs to figure out whether he or she should bring out the telescope and observe. As you can see on the left side of the screen, I'll point with my cursor over here, you will see dates down here and you will see the hours within each date and you will see whether it's green, red or orange. Green means it's clear to observe and uh, orange means it's uh, dicey and uh, red means yeah you can just keep your telescope inside. Now you set these limits for when you are going to observe, like how much cloud coverage you can tolerate, how much humidity you can tolerate, how much temperature or how low the temperature can be, how much wind you can tolerate, etc. Now let's move down here. I move with the cursor, or the not the cursor, but the, the arrow keys. And you'll see the first couple of days there is a lot of information and then it tapers down to less observation points as we get closer to the nine days limit that you will get for the forecasts. So that is the forecast and you can see uh, the date then, the hour, the cloud coverage, the humidity, the temperature, the wind, where it's blowing from and over in the top right part of the screen you will see the same color here it's the 16th of December 2020 it's Wednesday and we are looking at 20 points zero zero and you can see the cloud coverage being the same as over here but you get some extra information like uh, what is the, the minimum uh, or worst cloud coverage and what is the best possibility for this uh, area what is the humidity and the fog what is the temperature, the dew point temperature, the wind and how much it would be in gusts. Nothing there, there is no data on that. Air pressure, UV index, you will see the sunrise and sunset, you will see the moonrise and moonset, you will see the moon phase going from 0 to 100 where 50 is full moon and it says waxing crescent here. And also you will see that during this day there is at 0 to 30 48 Mercury reaches its furthest point from the Sun and then you'll see a link to that event and when you hit that event let's see the next day there is a different uh, event the moon and Jupiter share the same right ascension at the separation of 2 degrees and 55 minutes and here is the link again but when you reach that specific hour you will see that it turns blue indicating ah this is the hour that you're looking for for this specific event at four o'clock in the uh, night and here it is four o'clock in the night now you can also see there are some colored lines here and the first colored line is the sun it rises here it stays up and it sets corresponding to the sunrise and sunset times here. The same with the moon, that's the next thick bar. It rises, stays up and sets. And then we have the thinner bars, which are the other planets. Here is Mercury, Venus, Mars, Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus and Neptune. Pluto is not included here. As you can see up here, these are the various symbols. And I forgot to mention the first one, which is this little star. It indicates there is an event during that day or on that hour. So we can go down and we perhaps will see more events. Maybe, maybe, maybe. Yeah, here is more events. But since we don't have a specific hour observation or forecast for that hour, it will not show over here as a, as a symbol. It will only show on the day here in the upper right corner. We will not hit that specific hour at nine o'clock because the one observation point is zero zero and the one is zero six and then 12 o'clock and then 18. Now, you will also see on the top of the screen, you will see some information. Right now I'm pretending to be in Europe, Berlin, time zone zero one, uh, latitude 52.52, longitude 13.405, Bortel, uh, light pollution 7.4 and here is when it was last updated and at that time the Julian date or the Julian day. Now you can see down here there is a there is a picture this is how the sky looks like 
And if I move down here and I press S, it will update to how the, the sky will look like at that specific time of that day. We can move further down to, let's say, down here. Update again and you will see the sky changes corresponding to the date and time I was looking at it. Uh, if I want to see what this program can do, I can always hit question mark and up in the right uh, side again you will see the link to Astro Panel at GitHub. You will see the various keys, what they can do, how you change the various limits for temperature, humidity, cloud, etc. How you change the latitude and longitude. You can always uh, look around for various parts of the world, how the forecast is there and what they can see, what planets are up and what what is the sky looking like, etc. Uh, if you want to just quit without uh, saving to the config file like I will be doing since I'm not actually in Berlin, I'm in Oslo, Norway, I will just press uh, capital Q and it will quit the program without uh, writing to config file. If I want to write any changes I've done to the config file, I just uh, quit with a, a lower letter Q here. Now there is another little option that you can see. You can press a, a capital letter A and you will see that uh, actually it doesn't because the astronomy picture of the day is not downloading at the moment. But if you were uh, so lucky as to have the astronomy picture of the day up at this time, then you will see the astronomy picture of the day coming up where the star chart used to be. Since I'm always doing a screencast, first take and no retakes and raw and unedited, you will see every flaw that uh, comes with the screencast. Now what else? Um, there is obviously some information at the bottom here. Here is some uh, stuff that you can press. Uh, if you press uh, question mark, it will show the help and you can edit these various uh, information, uh, location, latitude and longitude by pressing these letters. The star chart is updated by S for the selected time, enter, refreshes the screen, and R redraws the whole thing, gets all the data down again, and updates for, um, updates the Julian day, updates everything. It's like you're restarting the program, basically. So I think that would uh, conclude uh, this screencast. If you have any other features you would like to see in this program, then uh, drop me an email at g at isna.com. Uh, you will find uh, everything I do over at uh, eastner.com uh, and other programs as well. Or you can just browse around my GitHub repositories and you will find other stuff as well. So thank you for watching this.